knocking on the tree of life. You can get almost anything out of it from lumber, medicine, fruits, uh, for, for dessert or uh, anything that you can think of yeah. uh, off a tree. That's a come they call it the tree of life. But that life is now at risk. Rhino beetles were first found on Rhoda at Twixbury Park in 2017 near the West Harbor Marina. They believe they came here on a boat for either cargo, tourists or fishermen. The park has been closed since the discovery was made and one man has answered the call to contain the spread all on his own. The spread has gone as so far as the Twixbury, it came over all the way to Gagani on this side of the island on 2019 of uh, September 12th. That's on a Saturday. I did my route and I discovered it there. Mark Manglonia is familiar with Ground Zero. Having cleared the jungle to hunt down the insect that feeds off the coconut trees, he sent specimens to Guam for identification. A rhino beetle can fly two to three miles and a female can lay a hundred eggs a day. There are 10 major sites he's monitoring. They spray a special chemical on the trees still standing every two weeks to kill the insect. He set at least 600 traps at different sites. This is one way they work to contain the rhino beetle spread. They pile up debris, cover it with a special net so that when rhino beetles fly into it, they can't come out. But even with all these measures, he's in dire need of help. A couple of years ago, yeah, I was by myself. And I've been asking for, like, you know, help or hire another employee for me to do it. But I, I stuck in there. The Department of Lands and Natural Resources hopes to hire an entomologist and three other employees in the next month. Mark says he does not want to see the island's most precious resource disappear. And that's a tree of life, you know, for the islands. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Rhoda.